And there goes J.P. McCurra on the steal. Coast to coast and a slam. Oh. And we're going to get another one right here. Here comes McCurra. Double-handed slam. Ball picked away by McCurra again. Third steal. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Well, he is like her, a scoring machine who can take over a game. Lakeville North J.P. McCurra is turning heads with his ability to score the basketball and turning opponents inside and out. Watch him shoot a basketball and you realize he's different, but he was not the four-year four-star player. He's been a work in progress. And then 10th grade, I, I was on JV, and there was, they had a good group of seniors, and I, I didn't play, but I got a lot better. My junior year, I started playing a ton. What has evolved is a player who has a vibrant energy for what he does and how he does it. He's a good kid. Uh, you know, he's full of energy. You can tell he likes to kind of mess around a little bit. He's still got a little kid in him, um, but he also has a big time game. There is no room for joking on the basketball floor, however. This is his arena, almost like there is no one watching. Just doing what brings him joy. When you play, it. it it takes your mind off everything and just focus on basketball. You just don't have to think about anything. His game has evolved, where colleges started to take note. He got into that AAU season, and uh, he's always been a very confident kid. Just had a great spring. Um, ended up getting a bunch of uh, offers going into his junior year, and then just carried that through his junior year and just had a great season. He found a fit at Xavier. The coaching staff, I, I, I enjoy them. And right when I visited there in the summer, it just kind of felt like home. And the players, I love the players, and they always make it to the tournament, which is great. What they are getting is something special, a skill set that has created a buzz, a buzz that doesn't come often. You know, he's one kid right now that, you know, I have all sorts of people that talk to me and say, you know, I would go to pay to watch him play. I mean, he's just that dynamic of a scorer. Um, a lot of people talk to me about, you know, he might be the best scorer that they've ever seen in the high school ranks. So um, we're glad he's on our side, that's for sure. Game, 29 seconds left. True Stewart, the sophomore. At six foot two, bringing the ball up. Will he be able to work for that last shot? Hotton, Hottinger is on him. Now he got in the hands of Makura. Pesola. North with the ball, 10 seconds. Now let's see what happens. Makura with eight. Cross handed dribble, backs it up. He's got four seconds. He can shoot from anywhere on the court, and that long three on the way. He won the game. take the shot. Everybody in the gym knew that he was going to take the shot and he came through for his team. What an awesome finish. I mean, just a great. This kid can flat out score the basketball. Wow. Basket's good. Wow. Game over. Now they'll let him shake hands. <laughs> Right in front of the head coach, John Oxen. Look at that. And Johnny O with those hands raised up in the air. And what a game, the second game in a row. We seem like this. Our player of the game tonight brought to you by Perkins, putting it all on the table. Magic moments here at the Target Center tonight. That kid right there, he just knows how to score the basketball. He has superb confidence. And he's going to consistently attack the basket, attack the hoop, looking to put it. 3-1 in the game, nothing bigger than that last shot. Incredible, take me through it. Uh, we were trying to get something to the hoop right away off the of screen, and there's five seconds left to run. I just, I don't want to say I threw it up, but I, I got a good look and I made it.
How about for you? Here you are in the, moving into the state championship game. Uh, it was Osseo last year that hit a buzzer beater to win the state title. Nice to be on the reverse side of it. Yeah, definitely. We're hungry. We want a state championship. we gotta, we got to play together. I think we can get one. JP, uh, we were just talking off camera for a moment. You said you never even shot a ball for a buzzer beater. What was that moment like having the ball in your hands at the end? It was great. I usually am a decoy, and they said to get the ball to me, and I just shot it. Happily, happily it went in. How many times as a kid have you played that out in your driveway? A ton. Hundreds of times. Just counting down three, two, one, and it went in. And it ended the uh, right way at the right time. Congratulations on a huge victory. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, J.P. McHero, once again, Dave, the hero of the game. Championship. Makira, long three. Oh, 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 wow. wow! What a shot! Boy, he came off like a Reggie Miller off screens. That was well behind the high school three point line, Dave, and that quick trigger as well. Boy, it didn't take him long. Well, North, they don't need a three right now. If you don't need to hunt for a three point shot, get a two, try to get a steal, or make a foul. Stewart in traffic. Shot is up. Good! And a foul! Bucket put up and in Woo! by the North Junior Carl Enroll. Still got the one point lead. You can't get that close to him. Oh. Up for grabs. Whitefield North up and oh, in. they got the Woo! lead. They got the lead. 14 seconds. Chambers, yeah. Side shot is up on its way. No good. Rebound. It's a scramble. There's seven and a half seconds. That's wow. Panther basketball. Woo. Going through his mind right now. Hopkins coming down six seconds. Right, he's a shooter. He wants the three on the way. It's off. Rebound. Out of bounds. Rayfield right North. State champions. 84 to 82. Wow, what a game, Dave. Celebrating in front of their student section. An incredible turn of events in the final minute of this basketball game. Well, what a great example of year down the entire second half, as well as the last couple minutes in the first half. Lot, man. This is crazy. This is an incredible game. Hopkins is a tough team, and all these fans are here. It's a hostile environment, and we can't run. It was fun. This whole year was a pleasure playing with all those guys, having one of the best coaches in the state, John Ox, and it was just incredible. I enjoyed every moment of it. You guys really cut it close, don't you? Yeah, every game, regular season and everything. We always win by one or two points, but we always come up on top most of the time. Yeah, definitely. We like to make it interesting. <laughs> I guess. Was there ever any doubt in those final moments? A little bit. When we were down five, I was a little worried. We came down and I had a big shot up top of the key and then Drew hit a huge shot in the corner that basically won us the game. You scored 43 points, but like you mentioned, your teammates come big when needed. How, how good is that to see that come together? It's incredible. I mean, my teammates are great. They understand when to get me the ball. And I mean, we played great tonight together. And we came up on top. Your trip here in the last three years, you finally get it done. What do you think was the difference? Um, playing together. That's really what it came down to. I mean, these guys are tough guys, and they all they all work together, and we came up on top. What did you learn from last year's state tournament? Take into this run? Um, stay poised, and with all this this hostile environment, just to keep calm and just play under pressure. Mm -hmm. File this under the captain obvious files, but how influential was J.P. Makira tonight? Pretty influential. Like he, he's the best player, one of the best players in the state. I mean, I can't wait to see what he does at the next level. I've been blessed to be able to play with him, and uh, he, he's a phenomenal player. And uh, he plays a huge role on our team. And I know the numbers would speak for it, but how big was J.P. McCurris play tonight, getting 43 points? Unbelievable. He he's such an offensive weapon, and 
we're going to miss him so much next year, and he's an unbelievable player. How big was J.P. McCura in this game? J.P. McCura, I mean, he's unbelievable. He's, he's Mr. Basketball, I think. He should get Mr. Basketball. And they persevered and they kept working and working and, and kept the faith. And to be rewarded with the state championship is, is just unbelievable. And I'm so proud of them and so thankful for everything they've done for our program. And, you know, I know these underclassmen are sitting here thinking, you know what, I want to be here next year too. And it's because of guys like this that uh, pro provide the leadership. J.P. McCura now, go. Great player. I uh, put on a show. He, PA, I'm not kidding. That was one of the most impressive individual offensive performances, I would say, in the history of the state tournament. 43 points, and he also led his team to victory. Wow. The kid can shoot. He's 6'5. He's quick off his feet. He can dunk on you. You look at him, he looks like a choir boy, yeah. but uh, he's feisty. You get in his face, and he'll talk with you, and uh, he doesn't back down. He's got a chance to be a really good player. I'm not saying he's a lottery pick one day or whatever. Maybe he will. But uh, he put on a serious show, and it was entertaining. Why no University of Minnesota for J.P. McCura? I don't know. I, yeah, Xavier kind of didn't really make sense when I heard he signed there. But apparently, I talked to somebody at the state tournament. They said his parents are both from Ohio. Okay. And so there's a lot of family in that area. And uh, for whatever reason, it just fit for him. And he was selected to the Americans' fourth team by you as well as Park Tudor in Indiana's Trayvon Bluett, Newman Garetti of Pennsylvania's Jaquan Newton, J.P. Macura of Lakeville North in Minnesota.